wicked. <laughs> ah, but right. Tremendous. Just testing out the fuses. They all seem to be good. Now, I'm just testing out as well the, the mains electric. I, I've bought the cables there maybe three or four months ago. I've never tested it yet. So today's the day. There you go, boys. It's your red kite there. Having a little meal about, looking for, looking for some carrion. Just trust him to go in the bleeding trees. So we've got a Polish mafia fitting, doing a bit of Polish engineering. What is it, Simon? We're fitting again. What is it again? We're fitting, mate. Smart battery isolator. It's a smart battery isolator. So I had to ask the fellow. I think it's basically. A split charge of thingamajiggy, that's what I call it, but uh, yeah, split, whatever it is. Well, that's the panels of the back door, boys. I turned the light on in the bathroom, but it's broke, to be honest. So I'm just soaping it up. That's one I've tackled earlier. I'm going to give that another go in later. It took me about 30 minutes apiece, just to give them... A good scrub with a fairy liquid and a scrubbing brush and boiling water. Right boys, last time it come out like coffee. Don't know if you can see that, it's not so bad is it? Like it's 30 years old. Very hard to hold a, a phone and record a light and a bleeding shower. What we got there? Boom! Start of the day. Got a fiver on this row, 20 quid on this row, little 25 pound earn. Let's start of the day, boys. Happy as Larry. Today's mission, to get a drill. And I wonder what else is gonna to happen today. Hopefully it's gonna be a good day. That's the insulation into the two, two back panels there. Now, I taxed this off uh, one of my builder mates the other week, and that's a membrane. It probably ain't the right gear for this stuff, for the job, or even the right stuff for the job, but it was free, so uh, it's gonna to have to do. And if it works, it's a bonus. If it don't, it comes out. Don't know what's going on, boys, but my old neighbour Lee, he come out to me and went, Shay, I think someone's thrown himself off the bridge or something. And he got the place exactly right up where my old Lidl is. God, I hope it ain't true. I think it might be a car accident. I don't know. Or somebody might have got hit by a car. Hope everyone's all right. He did say the woman was crying, like real bad. I think the lady might have collapsed, you know. God love her. I just can't understand where, where's the, why isn't there an ambulance? Because Lee told me about this about 20 minutes ago. All the ambulance can't be booked up with a COVID, can they? Well, that's a good 30 minutes later, boys, and they're still there. To the top of the Premier League, but and it'll be gorgeous to give them an opportunity to. There's wars in Northampton, boys. We're getting the tanks in. Unbelievable, look, an army tank in the middle of Northampton. Looks like a museum piece, look at it. Again, no bleeding drill in there. 
But I've got some nice bits of kit for me rotary tool. Fucking tremendous. Third fucking shot and I've got it. Third fucking shot. Patience is a virtue. Well there she is, finally at last boys, the drill. So I've got some wood drill bits as well. And some steel drill bits. The whole lot, I think it was 28 quid. You can't beat that can you really in fairness. Oh I like that boys on an old J Reg. Look at that, proper. Is that J92 Reg? Lovely bit of kit. Well I ended up didn't I didn't get a sandwich in bleeding Lidl due to the excitement of um my drill. I didn't get it, so uh, having an egg and bacon, keeping it old school, having a bit of jelly tonight. I see a stack of them and I was like, yep, yeah, ain't had jelly for years. Right, time for a brewski, and then show you me tools. I love my new tools. Second trip down this St James's Park in Northampton today. So had a lovely conversation with Brendan 12 ball up in Liverpool, and he gave me a nice bit of motivation to get cracking tonight. So I'm down there looking for some Reflectix. I had a look on Amazon and eBay. Got 20 minutes to United match. It's time to get busy. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Girls, don't be coming out to the shops like that in your dressing gown to B&Q. Fuck me, dude. Unbelievable. Bit of a situation over yonder. Keep it over that way, boys. Isn't that accurate? Right. So one Latin aisle 58. Aisle 58. Aisle 58. Do you want me to go grab one for you? Please, I'll come down with you. Uh, um, I, I can't be alone here, though. So that's all right. I'll just wait for I, I can look after the till. I, I, I like, I'll, I'll, I'll only take the notes, I won't take the coins. <laughs> you can't get into it anyway, it's locked, so. so. So boys, I've been looking for this stuff reflective all day. Okay, I yeah. might have found the last one in Northampton. <laughs> Thanks love. It's not actually reflective, but hold on. It's not reflective, it's, it's near, the, it's near it. Right it's very hard to get anyway. <laughs> okay. Fucking thing man. It's unbelievable. I only pulled out the mask that I was doing the insulation with. I can tickle in all around my ear. Let's hope we can get this insulation stuff. Lovely lady, she's gone to go and get the old machine didgeridoo thing to see. Well, she can't find it anywhere up here. Aisle 58, so... Might not get it yet, I might have to order it offline. So much for, so much for trying to help out the independents. Well, B&Q is hardly an independent, but it's all going offline anyway. In another few years, there won't be no more B&Qs. So then, boys, just been in what's it called Trade Point. They didn't have the reflecting stair either. Very helpful young lady, Qualix, was trying to help me. She can't get it. They said, she said they had one in stock, but it weren't on the shelf, so somebody's obviously nicked it. Nice one, thief. Right. I might have to get it online. The mission continues. My eagle eye has just clocked into. Uh, I don't know if it is or not. Let's have a look. Babylon. It's all it's all community works I think. Community support works rather. Oh. <laughs> Bro. 
breaking news to Queen Sack Harry and uh, his bin. She's all right though, isn't she? Poor blimey. Yeah, Harry's been sacked. Today, I'm in the market for a slow cooker. I've just decided. I was in three Lidl's yesterday and all their cake departments were rammed out. My local, it's always empty. There she is, boy, slow cooker. Only problem is, I don't see a price for it anywhere. Pasta's got me good look. Who is it? Fucking thing. Slow cooker, 1999. Oh, fucking believe me. There's always a catch, isn't there? I'll tell you what the catch is. They put this advertised, and that's for the week, Thursday the 20 fucking 5th. Do you know what I mean? It's fucking the 16th or 17th today. Unbelievable. Now I've got it, I'll fuck you stuck with it. I ain't, I ain't taking it back with it's like seven quid. That's what you call service, boys. My main man bringing out the shopping for me. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, my mate, let me just open that. Yes, brother, nice one, my mate. Thank you. No, I'm, no, I'm no, coming, man. listen. We might live. do it live tonight, yeah. me, you, Jonah, your fuck. Yeah. Will you finish at 10, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll plan it for about half ten then. Right. You'll be home by half ten or eleven even. Eleven. We'll, no we'll, problem. We'll do it eleven. I'll tell I'll no phone Joan this afternoon. You well? All good, you know. Just as weather, man. Needs needs to be warm now, you know. Man. Too much of the darkness, I don't like it. Do you know what? I've just light. been ripped off, right? Not, not not by your crew, but right. They've got that pamphlet out and it's advertising from like next week onwards, yeah? And I see a slow cooker in there, twelve ninety nine. I cut to the till, mm. it's 20 quid. <laughs> you know, like they're advertising it for next week. Yeah. And I just thought it made right, they've got thousands of shops all around Europe. Yeah. If one person out of a thousand makes a mistake like that, mm. say a thousand people mm. in, in, in the whole world, that's like 700 grand. Yeah, of course. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a good thing anyway. Oh, well, I've got scammed. Yeah, yeah, let me go get the other one. Thank you, me. brother. Top man. Man comes in my life creating cat. Chaos. He's going through the back doors. Illegal. Like it. Right then, boys. A little bit of ingredients there. Now, I've never done this before. It's an experiment. Got my own new slow cooker there, which even come with some chalk. Check that out. 20 king quid. It should have been 12, but never mind. Even though Lidl got ripped people off, just saying. So it's going to be like, I'm, I, it's going to be a guess. It's, I've never done this before. So hopefully it goes all right. I should really go on YouTube and uh, have a little look first, but I don't know. I think I might just say uh, wing it. So then, boys, just doing a bit of uh, prepping for me dinner. Going to brown that now. Brown that steak. I really, you should get some flour and bind it. That's sticky already, it's been warming up a while there. And I've got my prep going on for my uh, veg carrots, asparagus, two baby onions, sweet or turnip, depends if you're posh or not. I've got some broccoli going in. I'm saving some as asparagus because um, I do like the old asparagus. I can't even fucking say it. I do like the tips. I'm going to have a separate dinner with that another night. I've got some kidney beans to go in. I've got some peel plum tomatoes. I've put some of this beef casserole in and I've put another beef um, stocking because I've got no, I'm just using basic water. I haven't got a stock to use. I don't need to use any of them. And we're good to go. I'll let you know how it turns out. I think I've added too much, boys, to be honest. I don't know. Hopefully it all, like, disintegrates. 
Just making a bit of jelly, boys, for after the old stew. I ain't had jelly in years, probably since school. I think a bit of ice cream would that be a nice coochman. Is that the right word, coochman? Or oh, that'd be nice with jelly and ice cream. Jamie loves cowboy hats. Really? Is your old lamp 12 port? Don't you look lovely in the green light? Absolutely lovely, my mate. Look. Oh, bollocks. Oh, we're live. I'll we'll just see it there. Yeah, um, just done a little, not a prank call, but I see my neighbour's wife today for the first time. And I just phoned him up and I went, dude, you punch it. His name's Nath, I'll put it like that, he's my neighbour. I went, uh, dude, you're punching above your weight. He went, show you a dickhead. Nath, a couple of them to you, but yeah, lovely guy, lo lovely, uh, lovely looking lady. Just saying. Do I be pedantic and... I've done that bit. I'll tell you what, I've took a good long time doing that one and the other, other, and the other door. But do I be pedantic and... Stuff rock wall down there, or whatever you call it, the stuff I'm using. Because I'm thinking as well, you could use that spray stuff, the gun. But what about if I packed it down that goes all the way around the window and henceforth there'll be double glazing going on after that but I'm thinking put the rock wall in there stuff it down good 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 like I've done down there on the panel and then come up after with the spray uh, the yeah the spray stuff the spray instal the spray insulation stuff and then yeah so that's oh, that's going to be the rail actually that I'm going to fit the double glaze into and um, well it's still in my head it works in my head anyway oh fuck me we're live again so uh, what time we got well it's half nine do you know horses and elephants can fall asleep on their feet just got off the phone with Jonah fell asleep for fucking 28 solid minutes no, we had a great conversation. I wish our conversations would be like a podcast. We talk so randomly, it's pretty cool. Jonah, I love you, mate. And it was Jonah, not Rast the Mark from Bedford, that got the idea about the slow cooker in my head. I can't wait to get in the home now, because I'm going to tan that, and I've got jelly and ice cream for tomorrow. Oh, my days. And I've got a load of work insulation while I'm still in the wagon yet. I've got years of work still on this thing. I hope you're well, guys. Take care. God bless. I'm out of here. Lean like Steve McQueen. Out. This is what you have to do if you live in a van. Record videos of pouring... Well, coffee, but I like my tea. You know, a van life if you don't do that shit. Bit of breakfast, boys. What time we got? Just gone 10, I'll be out of here for 11. Hey. Today's a good day. It's got to be the NFL. We started good in here. My South African neighbor, neighbor, I can't even fucking speak, as usual. My South African neighbor, just walked past in lovely sunshine on this lovely spring like day and went <laughs> made me laugh girl you did nice one girl lovely lady oh, I do it every bloody time only went in a pound loan for staples 12 pound later I've come out of a load of tat as usual tin foil back um, from the auntie, cellar tape, because Jamie used me last lot, terrorist. Just be 
sure it's out. I do it every bloody time. Next time, I'm just gonna have to go in with like separate pound coins, go in for all the one pound for the staples and whatever else I need. So I come out with a load of. I do need foil actually. Operation door card. Right. I've washed the other side to this. Real, come out real coffee. Comes up real nice. It come out like coffee. It was horrible. But it ain't been done for 30 years. Now my idea is, I've got some breathable mem membrane there. Got a load off it. Kind of handy, a while back. And I'm going to cut the shapes out now. Go round with a pen. Cut a shape out. Now I've already insulated the back doors. Like, there ain't no, there's no coal coming through there or heat ever again. So hopefully this will be a big improvement. Well, boys, how are you spending your Saturday night? I'm spending mine coming down to see my old lov lovely auntie. How you doing, my auntie? Yeah. How you doing, ladies? Hello. I won't come out. There's some, uh, there's the Chronicle. There's some milk tray for the staff and yourself, Mary. And uh, there's some cigarettes in there. As soon as I get the jab, we'll be able to go out in the garden and have a proper talk. Thank God. You need a few more, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> have a good night, ladies. Love you, Mary. Good night. Bye-bye.